Hello and welcome back. Tonight at 9.30, there will be uh, a very important match that is going to be played in the African Champions League. This match is going to be between Egypt's Al Ahli and Shabibat Al Qabail of Algeria. More than 80,000 fans are expected to be there cheering for the national team. Al Shabiba are at the top of the group with nine points, one point away from qualifying to the semi finals, while Al Ahli needs to secure a victory tonight to have better chances to reclaiming the African Championship title. In the same group uh, in Nigeria, Al Ismaili, who is in the third place, is going to be playing Heartland, um, who are ranking the last. Both actually are not, not really in a good position uh, to qualify, but anyway, we're going to. Know Know more about that with Mr. Marwan Noor, uh, the sports writer. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Al Ahli were not in top form recently. When we take a look at the Egyptian Premier League, uh, the last match was between them and Al Masri, and Al Ahli were not really performing well, especially that Captain Hossam Ghali was not there. So, do you expect that today's match is going to be somehow different than that? Yeah, Al Ahli performed uh, poorly, to be honest, against Al Masri. Mm -hmm. uh, this was not the best of preparations for, uh, or the ideal of preparations for such an important match today. Um, as for Hussam Ghali, he had to be absent. Remember, Hussam Ghali is suspended today and for three more matches in the Champions League. So, um, Hussam Al Badri, uh, the coach, needs to discover new players in midfield and try uh, maybe Mohamed Shawi, who should start today. So, this is why he left Hussam Ghali out. And again, the performance was poor. And um, I think Al Ahli need to improve a lot if they are to get uh, to do a good showing today and grab three, grab three points that will make them in a safe position, let's say. What are you expecting? What are you expecting uh, Hossam Al Badri to do related to the midfield and the other positions on the field okay. for tonight? He is under pressure today. Remember, Al Ahli have only got four points and are five points away from Shabit Al Qabail. And if Al Ahli don't get a result today, and Ismaili get a win in, in Heartland in Nigeria, Al Ahli's position will not be the best, and the pressure the pressure will remain on the team and on the coach. Mm -hmm. So the team needs to deliver today. They haven't shown good form against Al Masri, nor against Al Shorta, uh, nor against Al Gish in the, in the league matches. So I think a win today will put Al Ahli on track to qualify to the next round and will give them breathing space away from Ismaili, who, who can get a win today, though it seems difficult in Nigeria. Uh, talking about the Ismaili, what are their chances? Now they are, are in the third place after a Safaqisi of Tunis, after no. a Fath of Morocco. No, no, they no. are in the third place, right? No, no. Al Ismaili are coming after straight after Al Ahli and Shabit Al Qabail. Shabit Al Qabail are top of the group. You were mm -hmm. speaking about the Confederations Cup, actually. Yes, about the Confederations Cup. Yeah. So Al, Al Ismaili are one point away from Al Ahli. So if they win in Nigeria, they, they'll have a chance of progressing. But uh, Nigeria's uh, stadium is not the best. Remember, players are fasting today and match is at four o'clock so it, it will be a difficult match for Ismaili but, but but if they can get at least a point today it's, it, it doesn't have to be a win if they get a point today and maybe they win in Algeria in the next round they will have a chance but they have to get a result uh, a loss is uh, mm -hmm. they will be out of the but tournament. how about the Confederations Cup they the were Confederations playing yesterday. Cup, yeah yesterday Haras mm -hmm. Hadoud got a point they drew in in Zambia against Zanaku uh, it's a good result in the circumstances, uh, the weather, uh, remember the, the players were fasting and this has uh, a role to play uh, in the match. So they have two points now, uh, Safakisi is on the top of the group with four points. It's still early days in the Confederations Cup, this is only two rounds away. And Harsh Al Hadoud, I think, should be favourites to progress with uh, Tunisians uh, Safakisi. Uh, how do you think about the national team now there are somehow uh, problems? Like, for example, Giddu and Zamalek, Ahmed Mitab and Standard League. How is that going to affect the performance of the National League? Well, well it has been affecting, but um, I think these problems are starting to settle now. I mean, Giddu's issue, we all heard uh, three days ago, has been settled uh, with Zamalek. And, uh, and Giddu even scored in the last match against Masri to improve his morale. So he, he'll be in, in good morale today. And he, I think he, he will be eager to score and get back uh, to his uh, scoring uh, goals. Um, on the other hand, Ahmed Metab's issue is as well on its way to being settled. It's not totally settled, but it is being settled uh, with standard Liège. I think Ahmed has paid uh, part of the sum he needs to pay. The remaining is about 200,000 euros. Uh, but this is again away from the team. Remember, Ahmed Metab is not part of the team now. Mm -hmm. But once settled with standard Liège, he might uh, sign a new contract with Al Ahli. So it's not similar to Giddu's issue. 
But he's not going to be playing because of this uh, problem. Yeah, yeah. He he, he's not part of standard. the squad. He doesn't have a contract mm -hmm. now. So if he settles his issue, he will have a contract and will start playing again in January. Not these days. So getting back to uh, our matches for today, Al Ismaili and Al Ahli, do you think that both can qualify? Or um, is it difficult? It is, it is very difficult now. Look, mm -hmm. um, Al Ahli needs to win today and Al Ismaili win in Heartland. Um, then you to stop Shabib al Qabail, Ismaili have to go there and get a win. And to be honest, this is very difficult. We have seen Al Ahli going there. Um, it's very difficult circumstances. Uh, the fans are very difficult to but play Heartland against. But are again in the last ranking. Yes, but, are not but, really but doing you need well. to remove Shabib al Qabail for Al Ahli and Al Ismaili to go through mm -hmm. together. It's not about Heartland. Heartland are nearly out of it now. But okay. to get Shabib al Qabail out, it's, it's, Al Ahli have to win and Al Ismaili have to beat them as well. So I think it, uh, we will have to be content with one place for Egypt in the semi-finals. Which do you think is going to qualify, Al Ahli or Al Ismaili? I think Al Ahli have the better chances. Mm -hmm. Remember, Al Ahli are, are hosting today uh, Shabit Al Qabail and are hosting Heartland in the next match. On the other hand, Al Ismaili are traveling to Nigeria and then traveling to Algeria. So Ismaili have uh, more difficult matches. So Al Ahli have a better chance, I think. Well, Mr. Marwan Nour, we thank you very much. Uh, for your uh, uh, insights into uh, today's matches. And now we're going to go to uh, another front, but it's still with the sports. Uh, we're going to take a look at what happened yesterday in the world of sports around the world with Mohamed Abdurrahim.